वेलकम टू बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन डायऑर्ड इन दिस वीडियो सो हियर आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन डायऑर्ड चेंजेस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू चेंज इन टेम्परेचर सो फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ चेंजेस आर हैपनिंग in vi characteristics with respect to forward bias condition of diode now see when we have diode in forward bias at that time characteristic that will be there in first quadrant where voltage and current both are positive now here i'll consider silicon diode so if you see the characteristics of silicon diode then in that initially when you have voltage increasing from zero voltage you will be having zero current and after greater than threshold voltage current of diode will increase you can see current of diode that will increase when voltage is greater than threshold voltage and this this threshold voltage that is around 0.7 voltage for silicon but this threshold voltage that we consider at room temperature and usually we consider room temperature at 25 degrees celsius in some books you will be observing this temperature is given by 27 degrees celsius but it won't make that much difference now here the major thing that we need to understand is what will happen with change in temperature now you see when you increase temperature at that time characteristics will get shifted towards left side and it will get shifted with the rate of 2.5 milli voltage per degree celsius let me write this statement after that i'll explain you this statement by one practical example so see here characteristics will get shifted towards left side at the rate of 2.5 milli voltage per degree celsius temperature when you increase temperature let us try to understand this by one practical example so i'm writing question first now you see the question is find threshold voltage at 25 degree celsius and at Minus hundred degree Celsius for silicon p-n junction diode. Now you see, as I have told you, characteristics of silicon p-n junction diode will get shifted towards left side by increasing temperature at the rate of two point five milli voltage per degree Celsius. So here, room temperature is twenty five degree Celsius, and at that temperature, threshold voltage is zero point seven voltage. now if you have temperature at 75 degree celsius then you will have to increase temperature by 50 degree celsius and if you increase temperature by 50 degree celsius characteristics that will get shifted in this direction right so threshold voltage that will decrease so new threshold voltage now that will be let us say new threshold voltage that is vth so that will be original threshold voltage vto vtho minus now see why i am writing minus the reason is here we are increasing temperature so characteristic should get shifted in this direction and that will get shifted at rate of 2.5 milli voltage per degree celsius so 2.5 milli means 10 to the power minus 3 per degree celsius so here we are increasing temperature to 75 degree celsius so increase in temperature is 75 minus 25 that is 50 so i need to multiply 50 here so our new threshold voltage that is 0.7 minus 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 50 so that is 0.125 and this has to be 0.575 voltage so you will be observing now our characteristics that will get changes like this you see now you see it is getting shifted in this direction and this is what characteristics that we have at 
75 degree Celsius where new threshold voltage that will be 0.575 right now our another question is what will be threshold voltage at minus 100 degree Celsius so when you want to calculate threshold voltage at minus 100 degree Celsius then you'll have to decrease temperature now you see if you decrease temperature then characteristic will get shifted towards right side right so how much temperature that we need to decrease you see 25 is original so 25 to 0 and then 0 to minus 100 so total 125 degree celsius that we need to decrease here and characteristics will get shifted in this direction so new threshold voltage now that will be threshold voltage at room temperature now you will have to add that voltage due to increasing decrease in temperature right as characteristic is shifted in this direction so plus 2.5 that is the rate into 10 to the power minus 3 into a decrease in temperature that is 125 so this will be 0 0.7 plus 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 125 so that will be 0 0.3125 and if you add this to so that has to be 1.0125 voltage so you'll be observing this characteristics that will be looks like this you see and this will be at minus 100 degree celsius where you'll be observing this threshold voltage now that will be 1.0125 voltage so that is this so this is how forward bias characteristics that is getting changed right now let us discuss reverse bias characteristics now when you have reverse bias configuration of diode at the time characteristic that will be there in third quadrant that we have already discussed right and in reverse bias when you increase voltage there will be very minor current flow right and that minor current flow that happens due to minority carrier right so this minor current that is happening due to minority carrier and that is also referred as reverse saturation current right so in reverse bias there will be reverse saturation current now what will happen when you increase temperature so when you increase temperature at the time you will be observing there will be increase in reverse saturation current but how it will increase so you will be observing reverse saturation current that will get double with increase in every 10 degree celsius temperature let me write this statement first after that i'll explain you how to solve this type of questions So in reverse bias, you will be observing reverse current will get doubled with increase in every 10 degree Celsius temperature, right? So if you want to calculate new current, right? So that will be old current into 2 to the power change in temperature divided by 10 degree Celsius. And this is regarding increase in temperature, right? If you decrease the temperature then this is what we will have to divide right let me explain you that by one practical example now you see here we have been given with question in that we need to find reverse current at 125 degree Celsius temperature and room temperature is given that is 25 degree Celsius and reverse current is given at 25 degree Celsius that is 50 nano ampere so this is that is given that is 50 nano ampere right and that is happening at room temperature 25 degree Celsius now our agenda is to identify new reverse current if you have new temperature that is 125 degree celsius so you will be observing our new current 
that will be our old current into 2 to the power change in temperature divided by 10. Now here how much temperature that we increase here? So from 25 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius means increase in temperature is 100. So old current that is 50 nano. So 50 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 2 to the power 100 divided by 10. Right. So that will be 50 into 1 10 to the power minus 9 into 2 to the power 10 and 2 to the power 10 that is 1024 and if you resolve this you will be getting this is 51.2 micro ampere. So you will be observing our new characteristics that will appear like this right and with this new characteristics this reverse current right that will be 51.2 micro ampere and this is happening at 125 degree celsius temperature previous temperature was 25 degree celsius right now here one more thing that we need to understand that i have not discussed yet see what about breakdown voltage so you'll be observing breakdown voltage also increases right at increased in temperature but there is no such fixed calculation you see here i am showing breakdown voltage that is this much previously but now at 125 degrees celsius breakdown voltage that is increasing but there is no such fixed calculation which we have for it right so this is how characteristics of pn junction diode will change with respect to increase in temperature now I would like to discuss very important point here. See with germanium you will be observing there will be higher river saturation current. So we don't fabricate our PN junction diode by using germanium material most oftenly as it is having higher reverse current. So it is more sensitive to temperature. But when you use silicon or gallium arsenide material that is having less reverse saturation current. So you will be observing it is less sensitive to increase in temperature. Right. I hope you have understood this video. If you have any further queries just place that in comment box. I will be happy to help you.